There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy convoy is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. I'll apologize to Gilberto for shooting off his little Hey, Danny, you recruit those farmers here to hit the pass? Remember, say the word knuckleball. Not yet. You think I can't do this on my own? We need people to feel like they're part of this fight. They have the RPGs you need along with other badass shit. And remember, there's no I in team. But there is an I in win. Cool, cool. I guess everyone in El Este can go to the beach while you're overthrowing Castillo alone. I'm kidding, Honron. I'll think about recruiting your super fans. Gracias. You look important. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Finger. I thought this day would never come. We need to piece off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road fight. Perfecto. We get to use them. Easy now. Easy. When I say the word knuckleball, what's that remind you of? Setting up an ambush at the pass, fucking up the convoy, taking whatever they're carrying. I'm fighting with Honron. Dio mio, you're ready. I have been waiting to get the go ahead for months. Vamonos, guerrilla. I've been waiting to use my rocket launcher. RPG is locked and loaded. Vamos. Don't worry. I'm a friend. You look like La Moral. Does the word knuckleball mean anything to you? It sure does. You want us at the pass, right? Si. I'll meet you there. You're the one who saved our people on that cargo ship, no? That's me. My cousin was one of them. Muchas gracias. De nada. Let's go. I'm not Another long day. You need us? Entonces... De nada. Let's go get this convoy. I'll get my mortar. Mortar time, compay! And no stone can ever bend his 
compas. Esa, dale. Magic Horse. Ah, sí. Yep. Roque. Viva Libertad. Run. I think I spotted the convoy. Binga. They're not even at the pass yet. You might want to wait until they get there. Or not. You're going. Officer. in the ignition. Don't wreck this one, okay? Hey, thanks.
happen. <laughs> Jackpot. Chicharron, over here. Lose stuff. This is going to help a montón. I heard you hit that convoy. See, si. home run's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now, so watch the roads. Okay. Let's keep Berto for shooting up his little corner. We need... I need you to go to the Gran Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there. Which means he's got an appointment with the dentist. The regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. I'm your eyes on this one, and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Binga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying. Gracia. She was going to fucking kill me for sure. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war, at least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. 
And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the Academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. <laughs> 